Hi friends, welcome to C program tutorial. In this video, we will derive data types 9 and we will Array, pointer, structure, union, we will derive data types in C language. Now, we will derive data types in C language. Now, we small program. Arrays. Okay? Arrays is a collection of variables of the same data type you create. You can arrays. Suppose a group of data. Create Say for example, uh, under student names, create one. You can arrays use one. That is why you can use data type. Arrays size is constant. That is why you can use the store. Adjacent. Next, next, next location is the store. Memory location is the store. You can use the best practice to initialize array to zero. Now, you can assign the values to assign the values. Better 0 or null. You can declare the array's example. Int a 10. This is the array's variable name of type integer. This array's data type is integer. It can hold 10 integer numbers. That is the b's variable name, data type. That is the 10 character it can hold. That is the variable name, data type. 10 double values it can hold. Okay, ma? Now, you can see that array is a benefit. Suppose you have a program like 100 numbers to store 100 student names to store 100 students to store pass mark, total mark to store. That's why we have number total 1, total 2, total 3, total 99. We have variables separate separate create. That's why we have total variable to create total array variable. Number index use panni over total numbers you number access panna mudiyum okay so for example int id 6 in the 6 elements number assign panna irukrom okay so idhula vandu na 6 variables create panna la ore variable tha but it's an array so collection of values ah vandu number store panna radhukku array use panna idhu eppadi access panna radhu pathina index use panna la id 0 index na 0 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the index. Okay. So, it starts with 0th index. Ends with n minus 1. n minus 1 is the number. 6 is the total numbers. n minus 1 is the 5. So, 5 is the last element. We can access the last element. We can create a program. We can create a 6 integer store. We can create an array. That is already assigned. So, we can iterate. This is the main issue that you have to use id j. The j in the value is 0, 1, 2, 3, till 5 on the i trade target here. So, you can use id 0, id 1, id 2, id 3. So, we can access the number in the integer array. So, if you have to use this one, I will be so happy. Now, we will see the output of the output. We will see the program in the program. So, you can see that all the elements can be accessed. 0 in the element, 100 in the first element, 200 in the second element, 300. So, the index is very important to you. If you want to use this video, it will be useful. If you want to use this video, click on the like button. Click on the next video, we will see the point test. Thank you.